Oh, hi, my funky friends. I'm so excited to hang out with you today because this is like truly one of my favorite times of the year. All of the vlogs this month, starting with this vlog, are all gonna cover my favorite thing about fall, which is over the garden wall. And if you're not familiar with it, you're gonna get familiar real fast, but I'm really excited you're here. We're gonna hang out and make some decor pieces today and get the house ready for bringing in the over the garden wall vibes. But if you're new here, my name is Asia. We do a lot of things here, but one thing's for sure, we're always bringing the vibes. Oh my gosh, yes. So the time is here, the time is now. Over the garden wall is like what defines my entire fall time from Halloween through um, Thanksgiving. And I'm just so excited. Every year, Luke and I throw an over the garden wall viewing party, which is just like a very vibey occasion where we invite people who have watched the mini series before and who haven't watched the mini series before that I, we think will like it. And we started this like the year that we got married so this is going to be our eighth annual one and uh it went from like inviting one or two friends to last year's the seventh uh annual party we had i think like 40 people in our backyard back here so um i don't know what it's gonna look like this year but every time i have to try to add a new element to the party new element to the decor and we enjoy it all together um for the actual party but then i get to enjoy the like rest of the decor um all the way through thanksgiving and to set my mind right to set my uh spirit right for over the garden wall vibe over the garden wall season the fall season all the cozy things i start by playing music from the series which uh, i think was an emmy nominated for its music and uh that just really puts me in the mindset while we uh pull up all the decor you know just put it all around the house and make it look pretty but um I realize that many people may not know what Over the Garden Wall is, so let me take a second to talk through that first before we actually like get the ball rolling because I'm like ready. I'm ready for uh, the cozy vibes and the fall spirit and uh, partly because I want it to be cooler. It's not that cool and we're also throwing our viewing party like at the beginning of October and we normally wait till the end of October but because of scheduling things mostly with Luke um, we were not able to do like later a fall party this year so I'm really hoping that it's cool enough and that the weather's nice but we're just gonna hope and pray and <laughs> Uh, just like let the happy fall vibes take us all the way to the party date. Okay, so Over the Garden Wall is an animated mini series from a Cartoon Network that came out several years ago, actually 10 years ago. They're celebrating their 10th anniversary, I believe. So like poetically, I'm like kind of sad that I that I didn't know about Over the Garden Wall for the first two years it came out, but our friends had introduced um, this show to us when we were hanging out at their house one day and they were like, hey, we're not even gonna tell you really anything about it. We just want you to see the art style. I think you guys would vibe with the show if you like. I, I can't remember like what other shows I told them that I really enjoy, but they're like, I think you like it, I think you'll like it. And little did I know, they sparked this eternal love, this eternal flame for the best, honestly, one of the best like stories I've ever seen. Um, it's an animated miniseries. It takes about like an hour and a half to watch, an hour and 45 minutes to watch the entire show. It's 10 episodes long and the episodes range from like 10 to 15 minutes, depending on which episode you're on. Um, and it's basically just about two brothers that are lost in the woods and they're trying to find their way home. And um, it's a very bizarre and emotional and like magical experience. And uh, you start, watching the show feeling just as lost as the boys do and like that just really sets the mood for the rest of the story and um i'm not gonna spoil it yet i'm anticipating that by the time we get through the vlogs over the next few weeks uh you will have watched it by then and then the last vlog regarding over the garden wall i will do a little deep dive into all the things i love about the show uh, i haven't really done um like a story analysis for film yet um, on here. And so I am really excited to be uh, analyzing this mini series that I love so much. I even wrote an LTN article about it on their blog and I just love it so much. I, I love every opportunity to talk about the show. Um, but now that you're kind of caught to speed, at least you like 
get of the vibe of what the story is i feel like i've caught you up to speed so you can like you've caught the vibe okay i think you've caught the vibe i've caught the vibe we you can both catch the vibe <laughs> we're gonna decorate my home for over the garden wall season for fall season and in particular um there is one episode i don't think this like really spoils much but they have a bunch of different like fall motifs that um they really like lean into throughout the show and one of the episodes they really lean into the like very fall pumpkin patch kind of vibe and so my my brain was like you know what i found a loophole to help myself enjoy halloween for longer uh i have made all of for the most part all of my over the garden wall decor that i use for the party and also just like for my home uh, are mostly inspired by the people of Pottsfield pumpkin patch motif and that I just feel like translates well into like Thanksgiving for turkey day season and um I think that just is like so perfect that way I can like it's it's not like quite a year round <laughs> a theme that I feel like is I think it's appropriate for my home to have for the rest of the year, but it allows me to put my um, decor out early and then enjoy them all the way until the holidays, like Christmas season. Once we get to that point, obviously we'll switch into some other uh, decor that I can't wait to show you down the road. But for this season, we can enjoy for multiple months the fall vibes via over the garden wall, Pottsfield, pumpkin people, pumpkin patch, cozy fall vibes. So anyways, uh, I gotta pull out all of the decor from the cellar downstairs. So I'm gonna bring it all into this room and then we can assess where everything's going and probably dust and clean some things that have been like just, you know, literally collecting dust in the cellar and then put everything out because like I said, this year we're we're throwing the party um, like three weeks earlier than we normally do. So I feel like I'm kind of behind because the party is in a couple weeks. So we're gonna get all that stuff out, play some music, and um, just vibe together.
Okay, that was probably a lot. <laughs> but um, I, all of the decorations are put up and I will do like an actual vibey, let's like take in, soak in all the details of all the decor. But first I wanna make sure that I make my new decor pieces and add it to the, um, the scheme. So by the end of this vlog, I'm sure like some of the items will be rearranged to accommodate the new items. But I mentioned earlier, every year I like to add something new to the mix. And this year I'm going to be painting a tapestry uh, that is seen in the tavern episode of Over the Garden Wall and it will like hang behind the food for the party, but um, during like just the season, it'll hang in my dining room in place of the um, Miyazaki print that my brother got me. And um, I'm also going to be painting like these silhouettes that you can see on the title card of Over the Garden Wall, where they have like the circles of different uh, characters or different like elements of the show that like represent each episode. I'm painting Wirt and Greg and um, the scene from Mad Love and um, this like bug from the, the lullaby episode. So um, I am really excited to add those to the collection. Uh, so I wanted to make sure that we spend some time doing some DIY craft things before showcasing everything. Uh, but if you are familiar with the show, I'm curious if you're able to catch just from the, the glimpse of everything, uh, what the items like represent, because I try to be mindful and creative about uh, what uh, goes into the decor. I wanted to make sure, obviously it looks cute and be beautiful and aesthetic, but I also wanted to like feel true to the, the series. And there's some like deep cut um, <laughs> references that you can see uh, in some of the decor pieces. So if you do catch any of them, I'd love to hear your comments uh, in the comment section. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited. This is like my time of year. I am like vibing to all of the Over the Garden Wall inspired playlists that I love. And I've like linked some of those in the description, the ones that like I just like play on repeat during the season. Um, but I, yeah, I'm really excited. I also got a print uh, that should be coming in soon that is just like a perfect addition, not only uh, for the Over the Garden Wall fall season, but also just like perfect piece to like have hanging in my home Home year round and you'll see when you when you get when it gets here because the color scheme is so perfect it's so cute I love it so much I typically always like DIY all of my art especially for over the garden wall but this is just like so cool and I want to like uh, appreciate the artist that made it it's like a rice oak print and I just think it's really really cool I can't wait to see it it'll come here soon I'll show you when it gets here but in the meantime let's work on the silhouettes first before we work on the tapestry so we're working on the silhouettes now and uh we'll see how it turns out that you're enjoying this
Okay, the um, canvases that are tea stained are done and I'm really excited about them because I want them to be luminaries of sorts, uh, at least for the party itself. I wanna hang some of the like cafe lights behind them and give them like a really pretty glow, kind of similar to the title card look, um, but um, I want them to be like enjoyable even if it's like not nighttime and the lights are off. So I wanted to give it like this stained look and I was going to coffee stain um, the, or try to coffee stain the canvases initially, but then Jacob was like, oh, you should do tea. Cause I did that a long time ago in elementary school. And I learned that tea staining is uh, better than coffee staining. I was like, oh, okay. And then I, I did the first few with a paintbrush and then he came home and he's like, you can literally just use the tea bag. And I was like, oh, I, that's so smart. And so for the last few, I did uh, the tea bag to like paint on the stain and then also just like um, adjust the uh, intensity and the saturation for some of the, the areas. And I did a few layers and it looks really, really good. I'm really excited to see it dried and uh, actually to see how it looks like outside uh, in front of some lights. But I also have to find a place for them indoors before the party. Next, I am painting um, a tapestry that's hung up in the tavern in the uh, tavern episode. And um, I'm excited about it. I found an image that is actually like what the art piece is supposed to look like because in the actual show it's always like only partially showing or like there's characters are in front of the uh tapestry because it's like on a stage where people are performing um so i found one that's like my reference point and i'm just gonna like i'm just gonna wing it jacob saw <laughs> the canvas laid out and he was like you're just gonna do that like without any anything like as a guide as a template i was like yeah I'm just gonna go for it. So um, I'm gonna use the same like brown paint and um, I'm really excited. So let's see how it turns out.
All right, so I finished those two projects. I have a couple more things to do. Um, one is when I was unboxing everything, I realized that like, ironically, my rock fax rock is missing. Um, so I say ironically, because if you know the story of the show, it is ironic or coincidental. In this case, I don't know. It would it be coincidental or ironic that this is happening. I don't know. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna paint a new one, just a little, a little rock that I can uh, put in the entryway or something. Maybe hide in the garden. We'll see. Not today though, because it's like raining so hard. Um, but I gotta do that, and then um, I'm still waiting for that print to come in. I can't wait to show you guys when it's here. And then the last thing is, I'm just gonna like do a new calendar page uh, for October. I've decided to paint a rock fact rock and some black turtles and I'm so excited it's gonna be so fun Okay, I know I said I was only gonna do the um, the projects I said so far, but we just went to Goodwill and I found the perfect little art piece. And so I'm gonna try to like take the art piece apart cause there's like a glass pane on it and paint a little um, thought bubble or a little chat message um, to make this the perfect little Beatrice uh, piece ever. And I'm so excited about it.
now I just need to work on the calendar. I've decided for the calendar page, I think I'm just gonna paint a bunch of black turtles in baskets. And I think that'll be a really cute nod. That's like a unique element. I was gonna do another rock crack rock, but I only want one because there's only one rock crack rock, you know, uh, at least for decor items. Okay, so I'm gonna work on that and then we should be done. I'm so excited my print came in so I finally can put it in the frame and show you all what it looks like. Look, it's so pretty and vibrant. Oh my gosh, these colors are crazy. I love this so much. Okay, everything is up. Now I think we need to just take a moment and enjoy everything. Really take in those vibes for over the garden wall season because it's officially here.
that just so nice? Oh my gosh, I am so ready for over the garden wall season, cozy season, fall season, Halloween season, all of the like, ooh, nice and cozy <laughs> vibe season. And I'm glad that we are able to hang out and enjoy it together. That was literally just part one of everything we got going on this month. So I'm excited to hang out with you next week where we start cooking up some yummy food for the Over the Garden Wall viewing party, which will be my eighth annual one to celebrate the 10th anniversary of Over the Garden Wall. I'm so excited and I can't wait to see you there. I'll see you soon, bye.